everybody, welcome back to Buggy Wuggy Boy, and here today I actually have this giant tank that I picked up from my friend's house, and um, this is actually my third video, and if you haven't watched the other two videos, we were canoeing on both of them, and they were, it was amazing, it was an amazing trip, and um, so if you can, please go watch those. I highly recommend it. They're very amazing. Saw lots of cool critters there. But you're probably wondering why we have this 100 gallon tank in on our patio. And that's actually for these tadpoles right here. which I have not actually shown yet on the channel, but I've had them for quite some time. I rescued them from their the pool cover, and they're gray tree frog tadpoles. So they're gonna climb up like a stick and into the trees when they're ready to come out of the water because everybody knows that tadpoles turn into frogs. So the first thing we're gonna do before we add these tadpoles in is actually add in this little bit of water that I collected from the rain. It's been raining for two straight days here where I live and it's been annoying but also helpful at the same time. But we've already got most of our water in here. So I'm just gonna dump it in, add a little bit more. So the first element I'm going to add, or hardscape, um, is going to be this. The tadpoles will love this. They will hide up on it. They'll eat the algae that grows on it. I really don't think there's anything bad about this. And by the way, it may look green, but I got it from a dying branch. So no dead or no live branches taken. I'm just going to set it right there. And I'm going to push it down. It'll probably back up <laughs> but um it's in there and i also have this stick which i am gonna put in here and it's gonna float on the surface it's actually gonna be like right in between here and in a small part there's gonna be the feeding area so that after i start feeding the tadpoles because I need to feed them. They'll also eat the surrounding elements, but um, they'll also eat the food that I give them. And I'm gonna make a little feeding area so that the fat, the, I almost said fad poles, tadpoles know where to come when they are hungry. So I just put this down in here. And on this side, this little side, is gonna be the feeding area. So in case you're wondering about things like sand, rocks, yes, I would add those if I had them available. And, but, well, I don't, so. I don't have them available. And this is gonna be a major upgrade because they're in a less than a gallon thing right now. This is four gallons probably and it's not even full. All right. So they are very, they're all scared now that I um, just picked them up. But I am going to jump them in. And all these, uh, see all that gunk in there? They'll actually eat some of that and some of it is tadpole feces. And I actually just cleaned their tank yesterday. Now we've got a brand new tank today, so. In. Oh, still some in there. Alright, so it's all gone out of there. And in there, there are now all these tadpoles. They're probably like, what just happened? Why is there so much room? And you're probably wondering why this tadpole. Oh. You're probably wondering why this tadpole was on its belly, which I'm gonna put it back in the water to show you. See how it's on its belly? 
It actually, I don't know where it went, but it's in there somewhere. I lost it. Oh, there it is. It's right there. And it's actually swimming on its belly, which is not really a good thing. So it might die, but um, most of them will live, and it's got a really fat body, so it's okay if it dies, because they would all be dead if they were still on the pool cover, which is where I rescued them from. So, just going to give you an, a minute to admire these amazing, beautiful creatures in their brand new habitat, where they live out their lives until they go in the trees, which I'll show you in a minute here. So these, so there is where they'll go in their adults. All right, so um, thank you everybody for watching. I know this was a rather short video, but it's really amazing. Tadpoles are really amazing creatures. And if you can get them, I really suggest doing it. That whether that be saving them or buying them from a store. I don't recommend taking them from an area where they will be okay because in that area they'll just be okay and grow up into frogs. But if they're in a dangerous area or at like a pet store, yes, people sell them. <laughs> and like I would definitely recommend buying them. I'll actually show you the food Alright, so I am back. Hope you got a little more admirings of tadpoles. I definitely did not say that right, but... <laughs> but, like, um, this is aquatic frog and tadpole food. I find it really healthy. I actually use it for this exact type of frog inside, which is an African dwarf frog, which I will be showing in a future video, so stay tuned for that. But, um... Just these micro pellets work well, and I find then that they eat it. So it does actually contain shrimp and fish, I think, which I eat neither of those things, but my tadpoles like it. So if you have someone that is allergic to fish or shrimp, I would not recommend this, but if you don't have someone who's allergic to fish or shrimp, I highly recommend this. It is very, it, it's very, it's just very, uh, it's a very good food for frogs and tadpoles, or like aquatic frogs and tadpoles, not land frogs, those you need to feed insects. But, um, I suggest buying this stuff if you want to get tadpoles or aquatic frogs. Alright, so like I said about five minutes ago. We're going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, just please like this video and subscribe. My channel is tiny right now. Three videos. I mean, like, it's tiny. And two subscribers. But if you could subscribe, you could add on to that. That would be amazing. And I'll get more and more better. Ugh. Can't even talk, right? Um, I'll get better as I get older and more mature, but I'm uploading every Sunday now. So, um, stay tuned for all my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Do.